Hello to all you beautiful people out there, Ragnella over here bringing you the next episode of Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. For today's episode, we are going to be taking on the last of the trio of Great Aggies. In this case, it is the Great Baggy. And this is going to be taking place in the Tundra, so your memo for today is to bring some hot drinks. It's going to be cold as balls. And also, you might be noticing I'm using a different weapon, or in this case, a different longsword. And so let's just check this out real quick. I got this during the live stream. If you uh, haven't uh, been attending those, you can uh, check those out at uh, Sunday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And what we have here is the Wind Eater upgraded to Wind Eater Plus. So it has a little bit extra attack. And one of the things I like about this sword is that it has some pretty good sharpness even though it doesn't have any particular element i just thought yeah good change of pace and naturally i'm wearing a full set of ludroth armor there's no real point to it other than i just want to and to make this quest a little bit easier on yourself if you uh, have some honey and you have some nitro shrooms you can combine these to make energy drinks and these will stave off the sleeping effects of the great baggy and the little baggies that are going to be surrounding them all right, so this is only an 85% combination success rate. I think that's even with three book of combos. So you're gonna need a lot of combos in order to consistently get uh, get your energy drinks. So let's uh, just hold down a button. There we go. And let's get on into it. So we're gonna go over to this quest. So sleep traps. The Great Baggy functions almost exactly like the Great Jaggy and the Great Roggy before it. And aside from that, there's uh, there's only one change and that's probably just a sleep effect. And even then it's negligible. So let's uh, just grab our stuff here. Get some rations and I believe the place that we're gonna be going to is area three. And see oh hot drink okay something to keep in mind with the uh, energy drinks is that they function like a ration as well as getting rid of any uh, any sleep shenanigans so if you are losing your maximum stamina then you can pop an energy drink it'll be a lot faster than eating say a steak okay here we go cutscene and we got a little bitty popo here and being followed by a couple baggies. And here is our great baggy. He looks like a prick. And with that sleep toxin of his, he definitely acts like one too. Weakness wise, functions uh, just the same in terms of where he's weak to, so the head. I believe his primary weakness is fire, but I don't have an element weapon on me right now, so that's not gonna matter. And the only breakable part on him is going to be well the head I'm gonna open up with a flash bomb here so I can uh, put in a trap okay and now I'm gonna go nuts sorry little popo but uh, your sacrifice must be uh, must be made but uh, take a look at the amount of damage this guy is doing he's doing quite a bit and and this is for functionally not not a very uh, a very super powerful monster, but he is he can be definitely annoying Okay, so keeping keeping my attacks focus on the head or at least attempting to and uh, Let's see also got to avoid the bombs that uh, Missy's throwing because you know She might think she's a dead eye with those but yeah, I, I have my doubts Oh, and we have the first effect of sleep so we have to very quickly get our energy drink Otherwise, we are going to pass out, and oh my god, and then we're going to be vulnerable. Okay, there we go. The other thing that uh, that can happen is that if you are if you take damage while you're in the sleep effect, you will also get knocked out of it. So it's like the uh, little kick in the ass that you need to uh, not, uh, not fall asleep. But uh, taking damage is not what we're all about here. We're all about uh, monster slaying and... Making sure that we get quests done. No, just let... No, sir. Okay, let's try again. There 
Okay. Ah, oh, right in the face. There we go. That's what I want to see. All right, and his uh, his crest is broken, and just like with the Great Rocky and the Great Jaggy before it, if you uh, break that part of the monster, then uh, well, then you get to have a shiny. All right, there he goes. And unfortunately, and some monsters can do this, they can uh, go into certain parts of the map that you cannot reach, and you have to track him down, and it's kind of annoying. So I believe if he goes into that spot in area three, he will turn off uh, either areas one or two. So let's take a look here. All right, no. This is one of the things why uh, the paintballs are really good to have, and you should really be using them more often. I don't because I'm a heathen, but uh, you should probably do it. Okay, nah, it doesn't look like he's here either. All right, I'm thinking the next two areas he could be are either, uh, either area four or area five. I'm gonna go into area five first, since it is the closer, closer area. No, hmm. Things are getting a little bit, uh, a little bit iffy over here. What about right over here? No, okay, he probably went into area four. Wow, I'm getting every area but the one that he's in. Hmm, not something that I want. Oh, there he is. Okay, there we go. Make him hold still. And let's get some more shots in the face. He is weak, so he's going to go down any moment. Assuming that uh, he doesn't, um, doesn't try anything stupid. Like that. Okay. So he's going to turn before he goes up into that part right there. Oh, well, that sucks. I believe this monster rests in Area 7. It is a baggy den. I'm just going to give him a moment while uh, Misty goes, play, goes and plays with the baggies. All right, what do we got? Okay, yeah, I thought he was gonna rest. Okay, maybe not. And... Aha! And it didn't work. Okay, yeah, this guy's uh, range of vision must not be as good as I thought. Okay, we'll just do this the old-fashioned way. Sharpness isn't looking too good, so I gotta make my blows count. I don't feel like it's just trying to aim for the face. I mean, I could, but... Eh. Don't you get out of my way. Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm here. There we go. A round slash to the face. That's what we needed. Oh, well, shit. Then there we go. So the most irritating thing with the Great Baggy, as I mentioned earlier, is the fact that he could put you to sleep. And because it's a large monster, the baggies around you are going to be trying to put you to sleep as well. So this, this monster could be pretty annoying. And he hits fairly hard. So there's a good chance that you might get knocked out from uh, a monster like this. But uh, if you keep at it, keep your weapon sharp, and bring plenty of traps. That way you can't move around all that much. I think you'll be just fine. So that's going to do it for me and this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're interested in any of my other content, be sure to smash on one of those annotations. They'll be featured at the end of this video. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care, people.